Here we go, boys. Some cherry blossom trees. New wood area, perhaps? I'm loving the cherry blossom trees already. Cocoa bean area. New oak forest, I believe, maybe? Is that Maddox's bar? Yo, look at the village. You guys saw that, right? Some new NPCs, okay. Yo, look at the new village. <laughs> Yo. Oh, some of the new farming islands, those look pretty nice. Yo, that's the new Fertile Valley. Coliseum? We got a Coliseum now, that's awesome. There's the village center, boys. Yo, okay. What is this? The Fairy Queen, yo. Dungeons. Wow. Look at that. Skyline Village. Holy crap. Available April 5th. Holy crap. That is actually nuts. That's crazy. Let's do a little bit of a deep dive here real quick. So we have some of the new farming areas. The cherry blossom trees, I'm loving a lot. Maybe I'm a little biased. Those are looking really nice. This here looks like the new oak forest. A lot of trees, so it should be... A lot of good farming. Or maybe this might be the area for like the Fairy Queen, maybe. This is definitely Maddox's bar. Potentially Maddox's bar anyways. It's kind of like the same architecture, same build. This is the new Fertile Valley. It looks like the Mushroom Island is switched. So it's going to be like with wheat now. All right. Just look at the village, man. But you can see the colors and just everything around. Just, oh, it looks super nice. We got some new NPCs. So this looks like the new enchanting NPC, perhaps. Just look at this, man. Look at this. The buildings, the architecture, the colors. Oh, it looks, it looks amazing. This is like the village center here, the village front. You got a gate outside for probably like the wilderness or other areas. Fertile Valley here with all of the crops or one of the farming islands anyways. You got melons, you got the mushrooms, and you got sugarcane, cocoa beans. So everything's going to be pretty much on one like island. I think that's wheat over there. So that's pretty cool. And here's a better shot here. It looks like we're going to be getting bamboo. There might be a bamboo collection. You can see here all of the major crops. You got wheat. This is sugarcane down here, more wheat. Then you have the cocoa beans up here, some mushrooms, the bamboo we just said. And I don't know where carrots and potatoes are. This is cactus, I think or melons. This is the brand new Coliseum or the PVP area. So we have an actual Coliseum. That's super dope. New NPCs, builder NPC. This is the new Wolf's Den, I believe anyways. This looks very familiar. I believe it is probably the, the replacement of it. That's pretty cool. This is the village center because you can see the map right here. And then after that, you got a little bit of decorations. Flooring looks nice. Detailing looks nice. This is awesome. The portal is phenomenal. Everything around the village in its entirety is crazy. You got the community center here, I believe. This is probably gonna be another, maybe this is the auction house actually. Then you have the blacksmith somewhat over here. Then after that you have maybe, I don't wanna say the bank, but the bank could be there. You have a custom floating entity for switching hubs. Some of the brand new NPCs here. This is the new auction house. So it's a brand new auction house. This is definitely probably the blacksmith, just judging from the lava here. Yeah, blacksmith, yeah. The builders nailed it for real, man. Phenomenal job. These, I guess, are the, the mines. Are we gonna be getting a new mine system? Are the deep caverns and all of that going away? Are the deep caverns going away? 
The new Fairy Queen is looking really nice with some custom assets, the wings, the crown and everything. That's super cool. What a great upgrade. This is a new fishing area. Boys, we're going to be getting a new fishing area. So we might actually potentially see more fishing into the game. This looks to be the Slayer areas. And I don't know if you guys saw that. If we just go here, this is probably the door into the many different hallways of the Slayers, maybe. We could probably be even see dungeons in this update because of that door. Who knows? But we already know Maddox. I guess he's got a place of his own now. This is the new graveyard. We got a new graveyard. Nice. Then it looks like I believe this is the graveyard and it goes down into the mines as well. That's super nice. Nice little look here at the mines. Or maybe this is one of the Slayer areas. Who knows? Not exactly sure what this is all about. Can't really see that. Like that is super nice. Look at that. What a great spawn area. And here we have the entire map laid out in front of us. Holy crap. This, this is a spawn. Look at this. This is definitely where the fairy queen and where she associates in. I'm assuming anyways, because you got the pink cherry blossom trees and everything like that. You have the main spawn area, which is right here. There's a nice little wizard's hat there. So there will probably be potentially we're going to be getting potions or something of that. That's pretty cool. Then after that, moving on, then we have another little mini city area, which a bunch of the other houses. Then you have the Colosseum in the bottom right. Then after that, in terms of the mines area, we probably can see the mines either right here, potentially the oak forest area, maybe here or like some wood area here, maybe or here. Who knows? The castle's right here. So this is the new the new castle then after that you have the farm areas here and overall looking at this spawn area this is definitely bigger than the current one we have first off but second off very highly detailed quality built the builders did a super phenomenal job with this one. This is super nice, especially the spawn area here is super clean and nice. I love how it's just like a center village area. I love that. And the official name is called Skyline Village. So we have the official name of the new village for Crafters MC Skyblock. And it will be arriving to us and available on April 5th of 2024 this year so we only have to wait one month but there you go guys that's everything for the new village revamp coming and of course we're probably going to see a bunch of other things introduced in this update as well so it's not just the village revamp we're probably going to see a bunch of other systems and other things introduced but all i'm going to say is that this village is definitely going to be a fun fun place to play on i'm actually super excited to check out the cherry blossom area